Welcome to the He's Got Issues Marvel Comics Edition number 156.1. I'm John Cooney here to preview new Marvel comics being released January 14th, 2015, beginning alphabetically with all new Captain America number 3. This is it, the new generations meet, Captain America vs. Sin, Daughter of the Red Skull. The truth in regard to the blood of equalization is revealed, but Hydra's proliferation is too wide, and there's no stopping them now. Nomad stands tall against the ruthless might of one of Cap's oldest foes. Next, we have All New Ghost Rider number 10, All New Ghost Rider vs. Guero's Blue Crew and the Russian Mob. Can Robbie and Eli end the heated inner struggle between righteous duty and satanic rage in time to avoid their demise? Can Johnny Blaze steer his protege in the right direction, or will the All New Ghost Rider become his most evenly matched enemy for all eternity? We've also got All New Ultimates number 12, the shocking conclusion, the climatic life-changing conclusion for the rawest, grittiest new team on the block, their fate hangs in the balance. Can the Ultimate save the city from catastrophe yet again and survive the process? Monsters, mayhem, and super-powered fisticuffs, if this isn't the Marvel comic to end all Marvel comics, we don't know what is. Next, we have Amazing X-Men number 15, the once and future juggernaut, one of four. We've all heard the phrase, those are big shoes to fill. That's especially true when those are the massive boots of the unstoppable juggernaut. So when the gem of Sidorak reappears, the X-Men must ask themselves, who's going to wear those boots? We've also got Avengers number 34.2. The godlike star brand is losing his grip on his humanity. Can Night Mask bring him back to Earth? And as our planetary defense, we need star brand more than ever. Feel the heat of Colobus, a cosmic threat powerful enough to burn us all down. Next we have Avengers number 40. In four months, time runs out. We've also got Captain Marvel number 11, Christmas Comes to the Carol Corps. You can even say this'll be a Christmas Carol. That's a hint, guys. Next, we have Cyclops number 9. Yeah, Scott Summers may be serving aboard a ship full of space pirate killers and cutthroats, but as he gets to know them, they seem like nice killers and cutthroats, especially the captain, who's starting to treat Scott like the son he's never had, and especially the captain's cute daughter, who wants to make kissy face at every opportunity. So what's the problem? Well, it might have something to do with the stolen super weapon sitting in the pirate ship cargo hold, the one powerful enough to blow up an entire solar system. Everybody in the galaxy wants it, but nobody wants to pay for it. We've also got Daredevil number 12, the shocking conclusion to Stuntmaster's death-defying dare. The owl begins to set his machinations into motion, and another old foe waits in the wings to blindside the man without fear. Next, we have Deadpool number 40. The Rocks Corporation brings us a special educational issue of Deadpool. Learn about gracking, the energy source of the future, plus a very special celebrity guest protest. We've also got Deathlock number 4. Deathlock goes up against an aerial assault on the battlefield, but his more difficult struggle may be closer to home. S.H.I.E.L.D. turns on Agent Hope. Domino finds Michael Collins. What can he reveal about the Deathlock program? Next, we have George Romero's Empire of the Dead, Act 2, number 5 of 5, concluding the second chilling chapter of George Romero's undead epic. Is Barnum a vampire? Is Penny becoming one? Can Dixie control the rogue militia? And what is their grand plan? What happens to Joe and Xavier in the climactic scene that will set the stage for Act 3? We've also got Guardians 3000, number 4. On a quest to save their future, Charlie 27, Yondu, Gina, and their new ally Star-Lord must find a doorway to the past. And that means walking into the lair of the most dangerous being in the cosmos, the Sleeping Hunger. And what has become of Vance, Martinez, and Starhawk missing in action, presumed dead? Has a sentience captured them, or is there no one left alive to capture? Next, we have Marvel Universe Avengers Assemble Season 2, Number 3. Hulk crash lands on Earth with no memory save one. The planet is doomed. Can the Avengers help Hulk remember what the danger is before it's too late? We've also got Miles Morales Ultimate Spider-Man Number 9. Miles Morales, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D.? Enough said. Next, we have Nightcrawler Number 10. Nightcrawler vs. The Shadow King. Haunted by the losses of loved ones, how can Nightcrawler overcome the darkness in his soul to prevent the Shadow King's influence from spreading across the multiverse? We've also got S.H.I.E.L.D. number 2. Why has S.H.I.E.L.D. agent Gemma Simmons gone undercover at the Coles Academic High School in Jersey City? Maybe it has something to do with the all-new Ms. Marvel and the most dangerous lunch meal ever served. 
Next, we have Silver Surfer number eight, The Damnation Dilemma. The surfer finds himself drawn to the most unlikely planet he ever sensed in all his cosmic travels, the population of 666 billion sentient beings made up of 666.667 billion races. What is the secret of the world where practically no two life forms are the same? And while Norrin Rad deals with this mystery, Don Greenwood comes face to face with the greatest monster in the galaxy. Next, we have Spider-Verse number two of two. The Spider-Verse anthology continues. So many Spider-Man and women. This issue, video game Spidey, punk rock Spidey, fairy tale Spidey, Max goes own Spidey tale in Spanish. Next, we have Star Wars number one. The greatest space adventure of all time returns to Marvel. Luke Skywalker and the ragtag band of rebels fighting against the Galactic Empire are fresh off their biggest victory yet, the destruction of the massive battle station known as the Death Star. But the Empire's not toppled yet. Join Luke along with Princess Leia, smugglers Han Solo and Chewbacca, droids C-3PO and R2-D2, and the rest of the Rebel Alliance as they strike out for freedom against the evil forces of Darth Vader and his master, the Emperor. Written by Jason Aaron with art by John Cassidy, this is the Star Wars saga as only Marvel Comics could make it. We've also got Thanos vs. Hulk number 2 of 4. Jim Starlin continues his epic tale of Smash vs. Space. Can the Hulk withstand the devious machinations of Thanos? Meanwhile, Annihilus plots to exploit Big Green and Mean in the most unexpected fashion. Next we have Wolverine's number 2, Sinister Strikes. As Deken lies crippled and fading and Shogun sees death looming for himself and his entire Weapon X crew, only Wolverine's legacy, X-23, Sabretooth, Mystique, and Lady Deathstrike can save them all, but none of them can be trusted. And we've got X-Force number 14. Phantom X is on a murderous rampage, taking out each and every one of the world's secret intelligence agencies, working his way closer to getting revenge on X-Force. Knowing the confrontation is inevitable, Cable and his team ready themselves for the fight of their lives. Out in trades this week, we've got Avengers Time Runs Out Volume 1 Hardcover, Premier Edition. For Earth's Mightiest Heroes and the Illuminati, it has all been building to this. After two years of carefully crafting his cataclysmic saga, writer Jonathan Hickman jumps ahead eight months to the grand finale, the honest-to-goodness immediate future of the Marvel Universe and the day of the final incursion. After the events of Original Sin and the revelation of the Illuminati's desperate world-destroying actions, much has changed for the Avengers. What has become of Earth's Mightiest Heroes during the past eight months? Who comprises the new Cabal? And have all the battles they've endured and all the sacrifices they've made prepared either group for the inevitable moment where the time runs out for everybody? The first act of the astonishing climax to Jonathan Hickman's legendary run is here, collecting Avengers 35-37 through 37 and New Avengers 24 and 25. Next, we have Deathlock, the Souls of Cyberfolk trade paperback. As if being duped by his evil employers into becoming the cyborg soldier Deathlock isn't enough, now Michael Collins is square in the sights of a mad villain collecting and disassembling cyborgs and androids. Can you guess the secret of Mecha Doom? Hopefully Deathlock can, with a little help from the Fantastic Four and the X-Men. Then what happens when the man in the body of a killing machine meets the killing machine in the body of a man? Find out when Deathlock and the Punisher team up. And the nightmare is far from over for Collins. When he finds himself in battle with Ghost Rider, it's time to fight Hellfire with firepower. Though a pacifist at heart, Deathlock quickly gets to grips with the ever-volatile Marvel Universe. Collecting Deathlock number 1 through 15 and annual number 1. We've also got Iron Man Volume 4 Iron Metropolitan trade paperback. Tony Stark has returned from space with a vision of a better world, but who is his secret ally? Tony mysteriously shrugs his crime-fighting duties onto Pepper and focuses his energies on the grand unveiling of Troy, Tony's Iron Metropolitan city of tomorrow. What could go wrong? Well, Pepper could meet Pepper, or discover Tony's family secret, or both. And if the Mandarin is truly dead, then who is Mandarin 7, Red Peril? And how did they get the villain's rings? As the Iron Phalanx attacks and the skies burn red above Troy, Iron Man investigates the Mandarins. Meanwhile, Red Peril uncovers Troy's shocking secret. And will an inhuman threaten Tony's city of tomorrow? Guest starring Jim Rhodes, the Iron Patriot. Collecting Iron Man number 18 through 20, number 20 INH, and 21 and 22. Next, we have Marvel Masterworks, The Incredible Hulk, Volume 1, Hardcover, New Printing, Collecting Hulk, Number 1 through 6. We've also got Powers, Volume 3, Little Deaths, Trade Paperback, New Printing. 
Follow the series that made Brian Michael Bendis and Michael Avon Allman comic book superstars. Detectives Christian Walker and Dina Pilgrim work special homicide cases that involve powers. Superheroes of groupies like anyone in the spotlight, but when a famous superhero dies, could the culprit be one of them? Plus, Warren Ellis goes on a ride along with our favorite detectives. This completely redesigned, reformatted, and reworked volume is perfect for both new readers and old. Collecting Powers number 7, number 12 through 14, and Annual number 1, Powers Activity and Coloring Book, and Jinx True Crime Confessions. Next, we have Powers Volume 4 Supergroup Trade Paperback New Printing. When one of the members of a popular supergroup is found violently murdered, the events that follow unveil the mystery players behind the multi-layered control of the superhero elite. Walker and Pilgrim are forced to make choices that will forever change their lives and careers, and how the world at large sees its heroes. This completely redesigned, reformatted, and reworked volume is perfect for both new readers and old. Collecting Powers number 15 through 20. We've also got Powers Volume 5 Anarchy Trade Paperback New Printing. Society is lashing out at its superheroes. Anti-Powers groups are rising up with a series of gruesome murders against the city's most powerful capes. With Walker retired, Detective Pilgrim teams up with a new partner to investigate this murderous superhero backlash and the people behind it. This completely redesigned, reformatted, and reworked volume is perfect for both new readers and old. Collecting Powers number 21 through 24. Next, we have Secret Service Kingsman Trade Paperback Movie Edition. From the writer of Kick-Ass and the artist of Watchmen comes a collaboration decades in the making. The world's greatest secret agent is on the most exciting case of his career, but will the end of the world as we know it take a backseat to training his street punk nephew to be the next James Bond? Meanwhile, what's the link between a series of kidnapped sci-fi stars, the murder of an entire town, and a dark secret from inside Mount Everest? Under Uncle Jack's supervision, Gary's spy skills and confidence blossom, but when the duo learns what's behind the celebrity kidnappings, the knowledge comes at a price. The conspiracy begins to unravel, but who can be trusted when so many prominent figures seem to be involved? It's a must-be-seen-to-be-believed action spectacle. Collecting Secret Service number 1 through 6. We've also got Star Wars The Original Marvel Years Omnibus Volume 1 Hardcover. As the phenomenon dawned in 1977, Marvel Comics published the very first Star Wars comic book series. Now the House of Ideas is representing those original adventures in its wampa-sized omnibus format. It's the return of the Jedi to Marvel in an opening volume that begins with a new hope and ends with The Empire Strikes Back. In between, the Rebels face a wealth of new perils, from space pirate Crimson Jack to bounty hunter Baylor Valance, as well as surprisingly svelte Jabba the Hutt with one T. Luke goes back to Tatooine, Leah battles alone, Han and Chewie play a deadly big game, and Darth Vader hunts for answers. With all your old favorites and plenty of new faces, hello Jackson. There's no doubt the Force is strong with this one, collecting Star Wars number 1 through 44 and annual number 1. And we've got the Uncanny X-Men Volume 3, The Good, The Bad, The Inhuman trade paperback. The new Xavier School changes as the effects of Battle of the Atom are felt, and Kitty Pride and the all-new X-Men join Cyclops' renegade squad. Meanwhile, Magneto embarks on personal mission that set him at odds with much of the X-Men and the whole Marvel Universe. As Magneto reaches a crossroads, everything he's fought for is called into question, and he's forced to make a decision that will change him forever. Elsewhere, the ladies of the Uncanny X-Men go out on the town and find themselves face to face with the effects of inhumanity, and Cyclops declares a training day for the X-Men students, but the training seems to be the teachers just abandoning them to fend for themselves in a dangerous mission. What will these inexperienced young mutants do now? Collecting Uncanny X-Men number 14 through 18. Alright, so that's it for Marvel this week, but there's still plenty of other books out as well, so be sure to check out my YouTube channel at He'sGotIssues.com to see both the DC and Indies videos for this week, as well as my featured video with the usual roundup of all my favorites for the week, with a little more depth and insight than you get here. And if you like these videos, be sure to let me know by leaving a comment and subscribing. You can also follow He's Got Issues on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and Tumblr to see everything I'm reading as I read it. So until next week, I'm John Cooney, and I've got issues.